Good day. I'm Clive and welcome. Now I think it's time I showed you my most used sleep system. There's one part in here which is my pillow which I haven't used that much and I haven't shown it yet. But I've got it in here this time because I'm just setting my pack out, organising everything I need to go and do a refilm of three parts of the Bibbleman track. Now a few years ago I started to go ultralight and even though it was good not carrying much weight I wasn't comfortable or I wasn't comfortable enough. In certain positions I was comfortable, other positions I wasn't so I started looking at ways to make myself more comfortable without gaining too much weight but without losing a decent night sleep. And that's how this came along. <clears throat> now the first thing you'll probably notice is basically just rolled up like a swagman roll. So yes, it's a bivy. And it's so much easier to just get one of these done and packed away and gone in the morning. And if a few of you follow me, you'll know that I love getting up really early in the morning and a lot of time I'm on my way by about 4 a.m. so I can watch the sunrise and hear the animals in the bush waking up and uh, you get to see a lot more at that time in the morning even though it's dark so the bivy I'm using is a special forces bivy from Snog Pack now, this bivy bag is lightweight, it's about 350 grams, waterproof, or well, material is waterproof, if you are going to be in a storm or something you are going to want a bit of shelter above your head or you can just roll on your side and pull it over. But I don't want to do that. I want to be comfortable, relaxed, and enjoy my time out there. Now this bivy has a zip coming in not far off halfway down. It's got a storm flap on it, so if any rain does drive in, it's going to be covering the zip up. Now using this, I've used this like I said when we top half covered, I've had rain come up to the zip area and up to now I've never had any water getting through the zip so there's your positive or oh, second positive the first one it's really lightweight third positive <laughs> the first one it packs down really small the second one it's really lightweight and the third one is it is lightweight some of you are probably going to turn and say yes but it, they give you condensation to be honest, I've never ever had any condensation in this BV bag. Now, I'm not saying you won't get condensation in it, it all depends on you, the weather you're in, the sleeping bags you're using, it's, it's a combination of everything. But me personally, I have never had any condensation in here. I've never woken up with condensation on the head bit, just on the collar bit. Uh, there's no condensation has made my sleeping bag damp so one day I may get it I don't know now this is if you've never seen it similar to a mummy shape it's not square at the feet it's quite round so it's going to keep you warmer I'm going to keep you warm on its own, but it's going to keep you warmer and it's going to up your sleep system temperature rating. I have used this system here, like I said, apart from the pillow, that's a different one. I'm trying to go even more comfortable for very little extra weight. I have taken this system here down to 2 degrees centigrade and I have been nice and toasty warm. And at times I have actually had to undo the zip because
because I've got too warm in it. What else? Yep, this also has a drawstring so you can pull the hood, wrap it around. So if you've got a sleeping bag where you like to pull it really close, you can pull this the same as your actual sleeping bag. And remembering you need somewhere to breathe out of so you don't get the condensation build up on the inside. There's no tie out points on this, it's just a simple bivvy bag. Put it down, get in, use your sleeping bag and sleeping mat and pillow or whatever you want to use, and have a pretty good night's sleep. Next part is the sleeping bag. Now I'll get that out and put it on top because that's actually got the rest of the sleep system inside the bivy bag. Make sure I don't get anything tangled up. Make it as easy as possible for me to get out to show you. Now, out of all the sleeping bags I've ever had, this one has got the most use. If it's take it uh, off there out of the way. Let's show you this. It compresses down into the bag it comes in about the size, I don't know, uh, of a large orange or a base, I know, a bit, not a baseball, a bit bigger than a baseball, let's say. So just scrunching it all up. The material is quite breathable. And it'll condense smaller than that. Right, let's put that over there. Now, some of you may recognise this sleeping bag. It is the Snug Pack Jungle Bag. square foot bot on it so you've got plenty of room to move your feet around and stretch out you can unzip it all the way down and there's a second zip where you can zip across the bottom and just use it as a blanket if you want to the material is water repellent so if you get any water on it and give it a shake and it will run off now over time that may wear off and it may start to soak in but up to now i've used it two three about three years now it hasn't done that if anything has been splashed on it i've just given it a shake and it's gone left-handed zip on it now i can't remember i think they're supposed to be ykk but there's no YKK on the zip but I've never had any problem with it skagging or getting caught up draw cord around the neck with a bungee so again you can cinch it up around your head to stop any drafts coming around from the back or from the sides. Really lightweight. Uh, I can't remember what the material is without looking. Let's see if there's a la label inside that says it. Here we go, what's this say? Jungle bag, left zip in coyote, insulated with travel soft and a temperature comfort rating of seven degrees centigrade and the lowest temperature they recommend is two degrees centigrade so the seven degrees is 45 fahrenheit and the two degrees is 36 fahrenheit uh, 100 percent polyester outer 100 percent polyester inner and the filling is 100 percent polyester okay so there you are, polyester. Now, on its own without a bivy bag, I have taken this down to the seven degrees 
centigrade and I have not been cold. I haven't felt, uh, now you get to that point where you don't feel warm and you don't feel cold. Now I was just above that, I did feel warm at seven degrees centigrade in this uh, bag. Um, and that was, yeah, that was in one of the shelters on the Bibbulmun track. So I had three sides protecting me from the weather and the wind, but there was an open at the front. And this did keep me warm down to the seven degrees. Okay, so what more do we need about this bag? You've got your little zipper pocket on the inside with a mesh. So if you wanted any batteries for your camera to keep them warm so they don't run out overnight if you're making videos, or if you want to put your phone in there or throw some snacks in, whatever you want, you've got a little inner zip, inner zip mesh pocket. Now the reason, or another reason why uh, this I have used this so much is in this little stuff pocket here. There's a built-in bog net, so that, that means I can zip this up and then get the zipper on here and find it again. Here it is. Pull it all the way out of the pocket. Yeah, it is awkward to use when you got the, there we go, when you're first setting it all up across the bottom. And let's undo the bungee. Give us some more room to play with. Get rid of the scrunching up bit. There you go, it's much easier. So there we are, a bucket. So you can use this most of the year around and hence that's where the jungle bag comes from because you've got your bug net from all the creepy crawly and mozzies and that. And it's a very fine, I don't know for certain, but it looks to me either it's the no seam or very, very, very similar to the no seam. The holes in that are just minuscule. So, but I've never had anything get through that to me. Now there's nothing to hold it up off your face. But what I do is I use my baseball cap. So when I'm laying on the back, the peak is holding that actually off my face. I've never been bitten through it. And, and, and found even in the winter when it's getting cold, if you do that zipper up, that holds actual warmth in. I've noticed that when I've actually done that and I've unzipped it to get up in the middle of the night to go for a call of nature, the temperature just go cold on my face. And as soon as I get it zippered back up in a few minutes of being in there, that just heats up again. Uh, because the way I've used this, I've never had condensation in here because I've always had my face facing out towards the mesh and I've never had it all pulled up and breathing into the bag, which with any sleeping bag you should never do. Because as soon as your sleeping bag starts getting damp or wet, the actual uh, temperature rating drops, no matter what bag you've got, because you're gonna have damp on top of you and it's just gonna stop you getting as warm as you should be. So let's put this back in now, out of the way. And I'll show you the next step. Now this little bug net has got a zipper pull on the inside and the outside, if you're wondering. So once you're in there, no need to panic because the zipper's there so you can pull it. And again, that's tucked away in its own little stuff pocket. Next thing show you the pillow first. Now normally I'll take a smaller pillow but I wanted something a little bit bigger so I've gone with this which if I remember is the 
Cetus Summit Eos Pillow, the Ultralight Deluxe. And I've tried it a couple of times and I've been really comfortable with it. Uh, do I have my air pump at hand? Here it is. Now if I don't have to, I won't use my breath to blow this up. I'll use a little air pump. And the one I've been playing with the last 12 months is the Flex Tail. Let's get it in and on the way. There we go. Almost a full size pillow. I'll do a separate review of this. But uh oh, the cat's hairs on it. Is it off? But I will tell you this up to now it's been very comfortable. Uh, and that's one of my older ones, so it's softened up, it's not so hard as when you get a new one, it's just got that stiff feeling. And if, until you use it a few times it will stay stiff stiff. But this is Softened up to that point where a nice, comfortable feel to it. Let's get that out. I'll put that in my pack for now, out of the way, so if the cat comes in, he doesn't claw it. I think that's how my main one uh, got punctured when he was a kitten. Not on purpose, I think he went over there and chlorine to try and get onto it and he put a hole in the original one hence that's why I had to buy another one so I think I've got about four of the uh, Cita Summit pillows, different ones, different sizes I've got the small, I've got the large, I've got that deluxe one and I thought, ah, the premium deluxe Nice. Okay, let's put that back over there. Now the sleeping pad. I started using about, well I've seen two winters in it. So we're just coming out of summer here. So this will be the third winter I'll be using it. And here you can see, sleeping bag goes all the way. This one's C to Summit. And where's the bag? What's it called? This is C to Summit Ultralight Insulated. And it's a regular size. It is the mummy shape to it. But it's damn comfortable. Uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll blow it up so you can see how it sits in here. I'll blow the pillow back up and I'll put that on and I'll put it back in the actual bivy bag so you can see it all set up. I want that. I want that back. Now setting this up, putting it into my sleeping bag and put it into the bivy bag. It may take a, a seam to be a little bit longer, but I always inflate my pads because it just makes it stiffer and it's easier to go in.
Now, really, really comfortable. This one's got the air spring cells in it, which spreads uh, my weight evenly. So if I turn in different positions, it's not pushing another part to make me go further. Never had a bad night's sleep with this one. The R value is 3.1. Now I use the Thermoest Uber, which is 2, 2.1 R value. And I actually took that down to just below freezing on night when I was out on the Bilbo trap. So this is a tad warmer, let's say, and a lot more comfortable. But yeah, fits in the bag nice and easy. Bags, like I said, square box at the bottom. Slippery material, as you can see. That's it, get back up there. Put it in there, that's it. Let's get the bivy bag back in place. Here we go. Pull the size out. Easier on the floor, it doesn't fall off the counter when it's on the floor. Far down, maybe that. Plenty of room. As quickly as it let show you how much room is in there. Because that's the sleeping pad because the bag is wide. Or it's a regular, but there's plenty of room in it. I've got all that space to toss and turn. Never, never felt claustrophobic in it. Right. Next thing, let's do the pillow. Deflate when I was trying to put it in. Talk. The baby bag back in place. So there you go, apart from the pillow, this is my most used sleep system. Plenty of room. Hello in there. It's going to fit around my chest. Just adjust the, um, the cord if need be. But nice and comfortable. Now, this, like I said, this setup I've taken down to about the two degrees and been warm in it. 
So that's the Special Forces bivy bag from the Snog Pack. If you're here in Australia, I'll put links down below to this. Uh, the Jungle Sleeping Bag from the Snog Pack. I'll put a link to this down below if you're here in Australia. We've got, like I said, we've got the um, Sea to Summit. Lucky. I just, I just think of it as the 3.1, but see, Sea to Summit Ultralight Insulated Sleep Mat and the Sea to Summit Deluxe, was it? Yeah, Ultralight Deluxe Pillow, which I'll be using over the three day hike or three day bushwalk, hiking along the Bilbon Track. Going through the bush, bush walk, both the same. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Ah, one thing I'm missing, I didn't show you quickly. I mentioned about the rain and getting in my face. I'll just use my poncho. String up, a bit of power cord, a few toggles, a couple of pegs, and I've got a nice, quick, easy shelter. So that's my sleep system so going back to it I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not already a subscriber please go down below click on the like button click on the subscribe button hit the notification bell and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much